Today, Sam and I sit down with acclaimed conductor and director of orchestras at Pasadena City College, Henry Shin. Henry's family is from Seoul, Korea, so who better to ask then the maestro of music himself to help us continue to learn more about South Korean culture. Hi! Hey everybody, welcome to a special edition of HPR. I'm Scott. I'm Sam. And today we have a special guest. Uh, he just happens to be our neighbor. Hi, I'm Henry. <laughs> so Henry is going to help us kind of navigate the Korean cuisine. More, more like the snacks. I'm all about snacks. <laughs> So uh, Henry took us to a Korean market the other day. We grabbed a few things. I have never tried any of these things with the exception of maybe one, but we'll, we'll take a look at it. So let's just start with the first one. This is choco pie. Choco pie. Uh, I've had something similar to this. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about your experience so, with choco pie. So uh, <laughs> this, is, this is like an OG staple. Like every <laughs> Korean, every, every kid, every parent, every grandparent has had this before. <laughs> and this is probably one of the biggest um, international exports now. Mm. I, think, I think everywhere. We had those something similar. Is that marshmallow? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. something similar growing up. Right. So uh, this is actually inspired from the American Southern moon pie. Yeah, oh, the that's moon, right. pie. That's that's moon pie. Yeah, so that's because uh, somebody took a trip down to Georgia, had a moon pie, and he said, we need to make this in Korea, and that's that's how they, that's what happened. That's, so that's in about 1973 that got invented in what? Korea. And so it's wow. become, it's been a staple since. All right, well, let's just try it. I'm assuming it probably tastes a lot like a moon pie then, right? Yeah. So it's basically, it's two biscuits and with marshmallow in between covered in chocolate. Is the cho I wonder if the chocolate tastes different than the moon pie. Korean chocolate tastes a little different than American chocolate. Probably better. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That tastes like a moon pie. Mm. Yeah, so for for um, any Korean or Korean American um, when we have when we have this it it, it's, it brings a lot of nostalgia. Mm -hmm. So it reminds you when you were a kid. And I'm t totally getting those feels right now. I'm getting, I'm getting the moon pie feels mm. right now for sure. Yeah, that's good. I give that two thumbs up because it really does kind of, it reminds me of my childhood as well. So me too. Had no idea that that was a Korean staple. Yeah. No idea. All right, next one. Home run ball. Again, never heard of it. What do you know about home run chocolate? Um, this is also one of those things where. Uh, you know, it's like Oreos in America. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's like that. Like the popularity. It's like that common, yeah. And it's um, it's been around for a while. Also been around for a while. I think I think it's since right 1981. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So 1981. It's been around for a while, almost as long as as the chocolate pie. Is this like anything that we would have had here? No. This is this is um. Well, what they, is it? They look like cream puffs. So the shell is kind of like a cream puff. Oh my gosh, look at and that. And there's a whole bunch of them in it. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> that looks bunch. great. Um, that looks really good. They're a little, yeah. And they're like a cream puff shape, mini cream puff shape. And inside there's just a little bit of chocolate. It's the same kind of chocolate. And it's the, puff. okay, got it. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, it's like, oh. Yeah. That's very light. Fluffy. Yeah. Wow, that's good. There is a danger with, with this in that uh -huh. um, it has this addictive quality uh -huh. to it. Go so on. Once it's, it's, I can see it's that. It's scary. Yeah, you Go can't on. stop. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, you were so. saying? <laughs> that's really good. I think I would. that would be dangerous for me. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it has an addictive quality to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two thumbs up from me. This is, if you, <laughs> it's if always you, my favorite. Yeah, if you haven't tried this, I definitely recommend that. Yes. That's really good. Absolutely. Two for me. All right, next one, Sammy. How about this? Oh. Mat Dong San. That, hey, that's pretty good. Is Mat that, Dong San, yeah. What, really? what, what is oh, awesome. peanuts <laughs> crunch snack? Yeah, so this is an oldie but goodie uh, sort of staple. Okay, something that's been around for a long, long it's time. It's been around for a while. Um, like would your grandparents have eaten They it? all know oh, what yeah. this is. Okay. And it has this sort of uh, flavor that appeals to the older generations, like our grandpas and grandmas. Right. It's um, it's a cracker coated in honey mm -hmm. with uh, little bits of peanuts uh, oh. on it. 
Yep. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right what those now. little bits are. All right, yeah. let's give it a, let's it's give it a shot. Good. Let's give it a shot. All right, here we go. Oh, this tastes definitely Korean Asian. <laughs> kind of sweet. I think uh, the, the, the biggest appeal for it um, is not just the peanut flavor, but also the, the crunch that it has. Oh, There's yeah. this, the texture, you know, it, which which the other two are much yeah, softer. This the, has a good crunch. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> the flavor reminds me of a Moroccan treat. It's called chfinj. What it is is basically deep fried dough with honey and mm. um, you know sesame or mm. peanuts oh, or right. whatever you want to put on it. Mm. And it tastes very similar. Okay. Yeah, these are good. These are like, I mean, they're they're sweet, but they're not like overly sweet. Overly sweet. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. This is a danger for me. Yes. It, is this also a danger? I will say this is a danger for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> she will not stop when she owns, opens the bag. So that, <laughs> that is, that is, that's why I, I'm not. All right, we'll get it out of here. We'll get it out of here. <laughs> All right, let's do the next one. What do we got? Honey butter chips. Is that what these are? Chips? Yeah. Have you had these before? I have had these before. So in 2014, in, uh, in Korea, it blew up and it, and it came to America um, and everyone was telling all my Korean friends, I haven't tried honey butter chips. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. And they said, you have to get it, but you can't find it in the market. So, uh, so whenever that happens, I always take that as a challenge because I'm like, I can find anything. You of know? course. I'm that guy. So I went, I went to the market <laughs> and, and I looked around and I couldn't find it. So I asked the, the manager, the store manager, I said, uh, I'm looking for honey butter chips. He's like, oh, we're back ordered for like three oh, months. because it was so popular. And I'm like, three months? That's crazy. That is and, crazy. And so maybe maybe a couple of weeks later, a friend of mine got one, managed to get one. I was like, I need to try it because <laughs> I, need, I need to figure out what this is. <laughs> and. I don't know. I didn't see what the big deal was. It, so you've had it. It's, I've had it. It's, uh, it right, didn't live up to the, the, hype the hype for me. Today. All right. So this is, I'm starting to see a pattern. There's a lot of honey involved. There's honey. Oh. Buttery. Yeah, it's oh. interesting. Yeah. Mm. Wait a second. <laughs> That's a weird taste. I, I don't know. What I'm even eating. Yeah, it is a potato chip, first and foremost. That's for sure. Well, that is extremely buttery. But yeah. In a good way. Right. This is, there's this very wow. uh, primary butter flavor with a, like a hint of honey. Okay, I'm not... I actually really like Yeah, this. there are people that really like, like this. this yeah. I don't know if I would be obsessed, actually, but I, it is really good. Actually, I'm liking this more than I did 10 years ago. So. What's it called? Honey butter chip. Honey butter chip. Oh my gosh. Oh. I, yeah, I, I, it's too too rich for I my get it. blood. Yeah. <laughs> I get it though. I'm gonna eat that whole bag today. Uh, there I we go. It. I guarantee it. All right. What do we got here? I, I give that two thumbs up, way up. <laughs> I give that two thumbs up. Here's something I always enjoy, peanut ball. <laughs> <laughs> Just peanut ball. Now, this is deceiving, at least the, the English part of it. So it says here the, in big letters is ojinga, which means squid. Oh, and is then it? Okay. Small underneath that. says dangkong, which is that means peanut. And the picture of it is in fact a peanut. But yeah, so this is, it's a peanut ball. So it's a cracker with a peanut in the center. Uh -huh. um, but it's dusted in like, squid fishy flavoring. Ew. Interesting. No, thank you. <laughs> which <laughs> which you well, know, can be it. averse for some people. I wish I could try it, but I have a problem with uh, shellfish and seafood. So here's what it looks so like. Sam's gonna pass on this one. All yeah, right. I can smell it It smells here. like peanut butter. Yeah. And seafood. <laughs> it's mostly peanut, actually. Now that I'm... I don't taste any seafood. What's in the filling? Peanut. Oh, it's just a peanut? It's just a peanut inside, yeah. It's oh, no you don't even taste no the cream. seafood. Yeah, it's hardly... Or this, whatever, squid and... Yeah, the the squid taste is that, taste it's it? the saltiness. I mean, it's uh, it's so slight. I've never had squid. Oh. So I wouldn't even know what it tastes like. Squid peanut balls. Yeah. That's really good, though. Yeah. So why do they leave the word squid out? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> I think you know, we know why. I think we know why, yeah. <laughs> All right, here's something I'm really interested in trying. Yeah. These are egg cookies. Do you Tell know anything about, about it, Henry? Okay, so <laughs> I have never had these before. 
we saw it together. You're like, I need to try this. I need to try it because it's egg, it says egg cookies. Is this something that you, you are you aware of it though? I I had heard about it, but I just never found. Okay, so it there's yep. Egg egg is in egg white is in there. I'm guessing this is gonna be similar to those those Nilla wafers. Maybe? Oh right right right. In texture maybe. This is gonna be another tear oh, on the side. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Someone reach in there. Sam, yeah, Sam give me should that. go first. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah, oh, they, they do, do look, look like, like wafers. yeah, they do look like that. Used to be my yeah. favorite cookie, by the way. Oh, this is the dangerous. Oh, okay. This like... is perfect for like a cup of tea. Agreed. This is yeah. definitely it's like good. a this is definitely like a vanilla wafer, a vanilla wafer. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more subtle. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you make us some tea? That's really. <laughs> yeah, Scott, let me make us some tea. <laughs> I, I might have to. Well, we have some drinks that we're gonna try. We have one more. Oh, yeah. One more thing to try, but I like that one. Yeah, this one's good. This is a double. It does remind me of vanilla wafers, and I was obsessed with vanilla wafers when I was a kid. That's really Shrimp good. crackers. Yep. <laughs> it is what it, it is. It is what it is. Yep. So every Korean knows these. These are your equivalent of Lay's or Ruffles. Got it. This okay. is on that Got it. Level. On that level of, yeah, of popularity. Yeah, of snacks. Got it. This is great for bar food, bar snacks. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great compliment to beers, for sure. I mean, so if you, sure. if you have some beers, it's a great, great compliment. And they look like fries. They kind of look like french fries. But they're crunchy like they're, chips. They're, they're crunchy like chips. Okay. Woo! That's... He's, 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 he's we, saying no to the seafood. It. We're not doing it. Okay, that's okay. All right, ready? <laughs> yep. Here we go. Definitely getting the shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good though. It is good. Yeah. Again, if you pair this with some beers. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, you wouldn't like it. I wouldn't. BB Big. All right, BB Big. They look like popsicles. They are popsicles. This is a dessert. Um, BB Big. It is basically frozen red bean. Um, and so that so might sound a little weird. I, I know in American cuisine, we associate beans as this more savory kind of uh, item. Yes, but this is sweet. But red bean in Asia particularly, all parts of East Asia particularly, um, red bean is a, is a dessert. Okay. Um, red okay. bean is, is sweetened. It's, you know, it's kind of a healthy de healthier dessert. It sounds healthy, um, but you would find it in different so yeah, you would all kinds of different. You would find it in um, sweets. in frozen desserts. You would, and you find them primarily also in pastries. Got it. You find a lot of red bean donuts, red bean bread. All right, this is exactly how I thought it would look. <laughs> oh, mm. interesting. That's an interesting taste. Yeah, it, I don't know of a texture that's similar mm. that, of a popsicle that we know. Wow. There's something hearty about it, you know. There's real, you can't yeah, see it, beans. but there's beans oh, in yeah. it. So I just bit into a bean and it tastes like a bean, mm -hmm. so but on, it is sweet. On, on these kind of things, what kind of level of uh, bean response does your body in, in, <laughs> in, you know, involve? It's not quite like, you know, uh, you know, bean dip. It's not on that level, oh, but good, 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 you good. will, you will have a little bit. I will say, <laughs> if you're sensitive to that, <laughs> you will have a little bit of that. I do like this. Yeah, I have never had anything quite like that. Uh, I've decided it's not that. It's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know, they can't. You can't win them all. All right. So What's now we're next? now we're getting to the drinks. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so this is called Milkus. Milkus. All right. What is what is Milkus and and is this something you've? I've had this. It's very good. It's a staple. It's it's closely associated with cream soda. Oh, okay. But maybe not as creamy. The milkiness of it is slight, but it's it's good. But is there there's not milk in it? Is yeah. there? Oh, there's powdered milk. In it. Oh, so there you go. Oh, powdered milk. Powdered, powdered milk. milk. I was gonna say you gotta call it milk. Yeah. Milkus for something. So for some reason, yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. It's a bit cloudy. It is cloudy. It is cloudy, but I and it's fizzy. Ooh, so the aroma. It definitely has a cheers. Cheers. Cheers and cheers. Hmm. Oh, it sounds. It tastes familiar. Oops. Nope. Oh, <laughs> it sounds. It tastes familiar. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? It smells familiar oh. though. Mm -hmm. There is kind of a milky like aftertaste. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's interesting. I like it a lot. So if you're familiar with those um, really small probiotic yogurt Yeah, I was going to say, it's like a yogurt. It's, 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 that, it's kind of that flavor, but in a soda form. I like that. Yeah, yeah I it's like good. that. It's good. Yeah, it is kind of like it's a cream a, it's soda. It's like a cream yeah, soda. Yeah, kind of. A little bit. It does. Yeah. But it's not like super like soda-y. It's not like a, like a, like a Coca-Cola. Right, right. It's less than that. Right. Just, just subtle. All right. It's subtle. Supple. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try this. So, Chills, what does that say? Chilsung. Chils, Chilsung? Mm -hmm, it's, the, right. it's the name of the brand. It's a lemon lime soda. It's basically your 7-Up Sprite equivalent. Oh, <laughs> well, that like I am excited. It's, the the color, it's Korean Sprite, yeah. For the bottle. Yeah. Okay, okay. It is lemon lime though, right? It is lemon lime, but it's there's something about it that's different. Okay. It doesn't taste like Sprite or something. Mm. It smells like Sprite. Yeah. It smells like Sprite. Tastes like Sprite. Mm. You know what, I think it's more lemony. There are some woody tones in there. Yeah, there's, some, really? there's something different. Are you there. making that up or you really mean that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be a smart, you know what. Mm. <laughs> this almost kind of has like a seltzer feel to it. Yes, that's what mm. I was thinking. It's not as sweet as like a Sprite. No, it's got a little maybe. bit of seltzer bitterness in there. Yeah, a little bit. It's really good though. This would be great with vodka. Oh, yeah. Oh, that would be good with yeah. vodka. Yeah. All right. All right. Go. I'll take Are that. You, you I'll, I'll finish this up. All right. <laughs> well, we're down to our last one anyway. All right. This is banana flavored milk drink. Ooh, that sounds delicious. And you were telling me, or maybe it was your wife that was telling me that this was a big deal. It's, yeah. a, a, it's a very big deal. A lot of people eat or drink this. Love banana milk. Okay. Yep. I've never had banana milk. So, is it literally what it sounds like? It's, it's literally milk what it sounds with like. banana. banana flavoring and it's, it's sweet. <laughs> so it's just a banana flavored milk. milk. All right, <clears throat> banana milk. Mm -hmm. Is there anything? Is this like the most popular brand too? Mm -hmm. Or yep. okay, all right. That is banana milk. <laughs> that you know what? That's really Whoa, good though. That's good. Yo, you like that? Oh, yeah. All right. It's real banana flavor. And it doesn't taste, uh, it's not like thick. No, it's not like, thick, It's not yeah. like a whole milk thing or anything. Banana juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it tastes more like a juice. It's like not as, like I was saying, it's not as so thick. It's thick. Yeah, yeah it's right. just like a, tastes like a banana juice to me. I bet this is good for you. It's Korea's favorite. It is Korea's favorite. Yeah, well, that's this good. Is, this I like that. There you go. And I don't even really like bananas that much. I love bananas. I eat three yeah. or four a day. Well, then this is right up your alley. There you go. Maybe. <laughs> All right, well, that is it for today. I, I am, I have been, uh, my eyes have been opened. <laughs> what was your, what was your favorite? Those, those little uh, honey sticks. What's it called? That one, Matongsan, Sam's favorite. Mm. I'm gonna go with the butter chips. Yeah, I thought I you mean, would. Too yeah. much. I like that one. That's probably my favorite, but this yeah, that one, is addicting. That one, those are that's good a too. keeper. Yeah, this one I could totally see myself getting a bunch of. And 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 if I really wanted Nilla wafers, I'd go for this. So those are those are my top three. There you those go. are amazing, and I bet they taste amazing with uh, with a tea. nice cup of tea. Yeah, yeah I agree with I you. Agree. Cup of tea. Um, at any rate, uh, thank you, Henry, for coming over. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Henry. Shedding some light, and uh, we'll continue our journey. So we'll probably have Henry back for some more. All right. And uh, let us know what you guys think we should be trying next. If there's anything in particular that we haven't tried, let us know. And before you go, Sam, what should they do? Henry, what should <laughs> Like and subscribe. Hey, there it is. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for we'll being with us, Henry. That's oh, right. Absolutely. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Later. Bye. <laughs>